Eh. Yo, is 2022 the year of beef? Is 2022 the year of beef? Because, you know, it seems, you know, uh, fr from the likes of Mama Dollars to Big Ivy to the likes of Lyrical Joe and Amarado, uh, Kaboom and Strongman, now Tiny and Stoneboy. Is 2022 the year of beef? Yo, it's your boy Jimmy Rav once again. I want you to subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell. Like, comments for me, please. Please. Because I'm gradually also turning into a content creator. Like, I'm also gradually becoming like the Kuja Sheldons, the McGrahams, the, you know, well, you can mention them. Yeah. So Tiny, yeah, Tiny was on radio, like was on radio on Abeku Santana's show and insulted Stoneboy, yeah, and I, I don't know why, it's quite unfortunate for, you know, Tiny to do that because, you know, someone called on to the, uh, call, called on to uh, a show on uh, Hit FM. Yeah, someone called on to a show on Hit FM and, you know, was claiming about the fact that, uh, Tiny was owing him, let's say, 2,000 Ghana CDs, right? Yeah, 2,000 Ghana CDs. And, you know, along the line, Stoneboy came into the studio and... To me, I felt like Stoneboy wasn't happy with what was going on. Stoneboy wasn't comfortable with, you know, the guy bashing one of his people. Yo, know, you know, we can all attest to, uh, attest to the fact that, you know, Stoneboy and Tiny go way back from the days of... Olumade, Olumade. I can't speak gun or anything. Anyway, yeah, yeah, we can all testify to the, attest to the fact that you know Stoneboy and Tiny go way back, and f for you know brotherly love, Stoneboy felt like okay, Charlie, let me just you know pay this money and you know like all the troubles will go to sleep, and we all wake up to hear Stone uh, Tiny sitting on the radio insulting his brother. Oh my god. Charlie, like, you know, I felt like he's been ungrateful. That's the fact. I felt I felt like uh Tiny was being ungrateful and you know, like with a legendary like you, I felt like Damn man. Stoneboy did that out of a goodwill. Like, you know, and even with me, I wasn't feel like like from how the guy was speaking on the phone i wasn't feeling comfortable with that and you know i think that was the same feeling that stoneboy was having that made him pay the 2000 ghana cities you know i felt like stoneboy felt like okay man how much is even 2000 ghana cities for you to come on radio to disrespect men like tiny and we can all attest to the fact that tiny and stoneboy go way back from the days of uh olumade so you know it's it's nothing man and i don't see the reason why stoneboy should call you and tell you that child i went on to radio some a guy called you a, a guy called onto the line and you know was bashing you so i paid it like how he did that out of a goodwill fun time bro yeah and with what's going on i think uh tiny things stoneboy is trying to take advantage of this situation and create a bad impression to the public that okay me tiny i'm broke which i don't think is the is the fact you know that stoneboy did that out of a goodwill like brotherly love man ali chekankwe i got my ringtone ringtone chale you are disappointing your bros you're a legend yeah when tiny when tiny was tiny like if my mind will set me right like i was way back in class one or class two or class three charlie tiny you know be boy you know be you know be small boy you charlie you shouldn't really get yourself to that level man charlie i really respect you bro you are a big man charlie damn. and now kaboom 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 pa charlie what's going on with kaboom to charlie you know there are certain people that you know i really respect a lot that when i see them do certain kind of things i always go like ah, why 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 will you really get yourself to strong man you know i know strong man is one of the dopest rappers in ghana and kaboom is also one of the dopest rappers in ghana you know strong man strong man is actually a younger brother yeah way way younger brother like you shouldn't you know be beefing strong man like if strong man tries to retaliate it, it it's good that the, the whole thing is going to look like a disrespect man which isn't cool man 
Charlie. And to me, I feel like a strong man shouldn't reply, man. Like a strong, strong man shouldn't reply. Like it, the whole thing would have been cool if it was like, uh, if it was to be someone like Amrado, Ben Air, uh, Lerk uh, you know, people of the same generation, like the medicals. But Charlie Kaboom, why, why? Charlie, you for respect the brand, man. You for respect the brand. And even like the cover ad was even appalling, man. The cover ad was Charlie, Charlie, way no, no. Like, no, like, he's creating, an, like, the whole thing, like, the, even the ad cover itself creates an impression that, like, you are seeking for attention, like, you are. You know desperate for attention which isn't supposed to be yeah be like i don't have any you know i don't have any problem with beefing but actually you should do that right you are you are a big brother you are a big brother in the industry man charlie sometimes you should man. once again subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell like comment and share it's your boy jimmy ralph found time yeah charlie now there I'm also joining the vlogging people. So just kindly help, you know, you know, kindly help. Very soon I'll finish with my YouTube studio and, you know, I'll be bringing you quality. Yeah, right now I don't, I have all the cameras, but I, I want quality sound. That'd be why I want the quality sound. So, Charlie, just subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, like, comment, me. Fun time, bro. Ooh.